What's up y'all, Toya here, and I am back with another video for y'all. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, y'all, we're all here to make money doing gig work, right? But how do we go about it when there's so many different apps to choose from? Now, if you're new to gig work, you may not necessarily know what gigs would work best for you. Now, if you have been doing gig work for a while, you probably noticed that you started to gravitate towards a certain gig type more and more because, well, that just became your preference, right? So here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna talk about two different delivery app types. Now, while there there is a plethora of apps to choose from. Today we are going to be focusing on apps that you can do in your everyday vehicle. So in your sedan, your SUV, just your regular, like I said, everyday vehicle. So today we're going to talk about on-demand apps and we're going to talk about apps that allow you to pre-schedule in advance. So we're going to discuss the main differences between the two, whether or not you can make more money on one specific app type, is there more of a demand for a certain app, and overall what just makes more sense depending on your situation. Now quick disclaimer, everybody's experience with these apps is going to vary. There's a lot of different variables here. So it's going to depend on your market, it's going to depend on how you want to work the apps, if you're doing this full-time, part-time, whatever. The experience that I describe, it may not be your experience. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's go over a quick definition of both of these delivery types. So first off, we have the on-demand apps. So examples of these apps are going to be your food delivery apps like DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and then you have Spark, Instacart, Skipcart, GoShare. There's a handful of apps. I could probably go all day. But all of these apps operate in a very simple manner. On-demand simply means that a customer can go and request something and it can be at their doorstep within maybe a few minutes up to a couple of hours depending on what's being requested. So as long as people are submitting those orders for their items, whether it's food, a retail item, whatever it may be, there's always gonna be work for you. If there's a demand, there's orders for you to do. Now, apps that allow you to pre-schedule in advance. So some examples of those apps are gonna be your catering apps, like Delivered, Deliver That, Zifty, then you have Amazon Flex, you have Vho, Shipped, the package delivery. Again, there's a ton of different apps. Now with these apps that allow you to pre-schedule, you're actually picking up these orders well in advance. So on average, most of the orders, especially with catering, you're gonna be picking up that order for the next day. So you might get something sent to you, you know, late in the afternoon and it's gonna be for lunchtime, maybe 11 or 12 o'clock for the next day. So that's a pre-scheduled order. There are gonna be some, in some cases, like Amazon Flex, for instance. You can possibly schedule those well in advance. Like you could probably schedule your whole week out if you really wanted to. So you can have a block for Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, however many days, right? Depending on how many blocks they're actually sending out for that week. Now, on occasion, you might have an urgent order that does have to be fulfilled within 30 minutes to an hour. You know, things happen. Happen. There might be a high demand because, you know, maybe somebody dropped an order and they need to fulfill it. But on most occasions, you're going to be scheduling these, you know, well in advance. Now that we've identified the two app types, let's go ahead and do some comparisons to the two. Now, the main factor that everybody always wants to know is the pay. So when it comes to on-demand delivery apps, well, to be honest, it can vary. The thing is about the on-demand delivery apps is, well, you don't really know what you're gonna be getting into. You don't know what the orders are gonna be looking like. You might kind of have an expectation of what you might make if there's some type of incentive that you're going for. But like I said, the main thing is that you don't really know what you're gonna be getting into. You don't know if you're gonna get some pretty good orders. You don't know if you're gonna get some no-tip orders or just orders that are just not worth it because you had to do too much work in order to actually get it fulfilled. You had to wait whatever the reason might be. You don't know what you're going to get into, right? Now, on the other hand, with pre-scheduled orders, you're going to be guaranteed whatever money that they're telling you up front. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did do a video discussing a handful of apps that will guarantee you pay. And if you haven't watched it, I highly suggest that you check it out. But all of the apps that I mentioned in that video, they're all apps that allow you to pre-schedule orders ahead of time. While there may be some people that'll say, well, nothing's really guaranteed and you are 100% correct. You can pick up an order and it can be canceled and you just don't have anything to do for that day as far as pre-scheduled, right? So yeah, if you wanna be technical, it's not really guaranteed. But the reason I say it's guaranteed pay is because as long as you are picking up that order and fulfilling it, whatever pay that was promised to you when you picked up that order 
that is gonna be the pay that you receive every single time. Sometimes they'll give you a flat rate, sometimes they'll give you a range, but regardless, you're still gonna be guaranteed to be paid whatever they're telling you up front when you picked up that order. And that's why I personally prefer to do pre-scheduled orders. And I'll get into the next reason, which we're actually gonna go ahead and dive into right now, which is the accessibility. So this category is probably gonna be won by on-demand delivery apps every single time by a landslide. And that's just simply the fact that you can turn on the app whenever you want to. And as long as there are orders out there that are available, they're gonna be getting sent to you to fulfill. Now, whether or not they're good orders, you know, that's another discussion for another day. Now, depending on the app, maybe you have to go and select the time frame that you want to work. But as long as you have that app on and you're available to receive orders, orders are going to be sent to you. So you definitely have way more access to more opportunity as far as more orders being sent to you. Now, pre-scheduled, on the other hand, you can't just be like, all right, I'm going to turn on my catering app and wait for catering orders to be sent to me. It doesn't work like that. Like I said, these are all pre-scheduled. So they're gonna go ahead and send out all the orders that are gonna be available for the next day and they're gonna get grabbed. Like I mentioned before, sometimes there is an urgent order. Most of the time, if you're seeing an order that's gonna be starting within like 30 minutes or an hour or so, my guess is that the original driver that had it had to drop it and they need to go ahead and get somebody to urgently take that order to get it fulfilled. So you're definitely not going to rely on that as a common occurrence that's going to happen every single day. While yes, it does happen, you're not going to be making a bulk of your money off of these urgent catering orders. So some of y'all might be like, oh, dang, that's, that doesn't sound too good. You know, I'd rather go and have the ability to pick up however many orders I want to get, right? Well, you know, it all depends on how you work the app here's the reason why i prefer to do pre-scheduled orders over on demand so i'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret as far as how my day usually goes so i have a w-2 i work from home and i work from home because i'm a caretaker for my mom and that's because i have to be available for her pretty much 24 7. so while yes if i have some downtime sure i can go ahead and turn on an on-demand delivery app and go out and try to make however much i want to make you know just not knowing how much I'm gonna make that kind of turns me off from it because I don't want to go out and waste my time and waste my gas trying to you know get a handful of orders in my limited amount of time and you know make however much money I want to make right now instead of that this is actually what I do now most catering orders they're sent around lunchtime to be fulfilled right so I might get an order for like 11 30 12 30 something like that right and I'll pick that up so what I'll do, depending on what I have scheduled for my workday, you know, I might have meetings, I might have some projects I have to work on, whatever it may be. But usually around that lunch period between like 11 and one o'clock, usually I don't have too much going on because that's when a lot of people are usually taking their lunch, right? So if I have a catering order that's sent to me around that time frame, guess what I'm going to do? I'm gonna go ahead and put in that my lunch is gonna be during that time frame when I have to do that catering order. And usually I'm in and out within 30, 45 minutes. So that still gives me time to pick up food on the way home or if I wanna come home and warm something up, I go ahead and eat and boom, I'm back at work. Now that's my best case scenario. There have been some occasions where I had to go and do something with my mom and I unfortunately had to turn down some really, really good catering orders. I'm talking like 50, $60 payouts. <sighs> It hurts. It hurt at that time. It really did, but that's okay. So depending on, like I said, what I have going on during the day, if I have to do something for my mom or if I got meetings or whatever it may be, you know, I try my best to fit my day around that order. If I decide to pick up an order for the next day, obviously I'm going to check to make sure I don't have anything scheduled for the next day. Like I said, sometimes I have to turn stuff down because I have to be somewhere with my mom the next day. But you know, if my calendar is completely free, for like two hours you know I have no problem putting that catering order right there and I can go ahead and knock it out during my lunch break and I just made an extra however many dollars <laughs> during that time frame so yeah that just works out perfect for me because one I know how much I'm gonna get paid 
And two, you know, whatever time frame I'm selecting, I'm like, all right, bet this is what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I know what to expect. I know the restaurant nine times out of 10 is literally easy money for me. So yeah, I'm literally bouncing around all over the place, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to make it work, right? So, and this is what works for me. But like I said, that accessibility is definitely gonna vary person to person. This is how I do it. You know, that may not work for you. Maybe you prefer to do on demand. Like I said, it just depends on your situation. Now, the last thing we're gonna compare is going to be the amount of work that is expected from you. So this is also gonna vary app by app. You know, there are a few different factors that a lot of people might consider when determining whether or not an order is either worth it or is it a difficult order. You know, some of those things might be mileage driven how much you have to drive how many packages you have to deliver you know a handful of things right but for on demand i would say the simplest of the simplest of the orders is going to be your food delivery retail delivery whatever and that's just your simple pickup from point a drop off to point b now there might be some apps that do have multiple deliveries you know and the same can be said for pre-scheduled orders as well especially when amazon flex i think my husband did a block it was like a three and a half hour block he had like 40 something stops which i was actually surprised that's quite a bit for a three and a half now really quick shout out to udm because i had actually tuned into a live stream of his about a week or so ago and he was discussing how some folks they are comparing food delivery to catering so it sounds like some people feel like catering is either too much work or some people are just comparing it to food delivery and saying that there really isn't much difference between the two when it comes to pay you know if somebody were to ask me you know what's so special about catering what's the difference Difference between catering and regular food delivery right I'm just gonna tell them that it's an upscale food order with an extra step because that's literally what it is so you're not delivering a single meal or maybe two or three meals to a household with you know maybe you got a bag or two something like that but catering you know we're talking about orders within the hundreds sometimes thousands. Once you get up to that status, you can get those super, super large orders. The whole process is pretty much the same. You go to the restaurant, you pick up the food. Yes, you're probably gonna have to have multiple bags to pack up everything that's gonna take you a little bit longer compared to just picking up a bag and going about your day. Now, the process of delivery, this is where things apparently kind of get tricky for some folks. You know, that setup, I don't know why the setup seems to turn people off from it. It's really not that difficult. You know, you're just taking out everything in the bag, laying the food out on the table and, you know, a neat spread. There's really nothing too complicated about it. And obviously there might be some cases where you don't have to do setup at all. Sometimes you might have to just drop it off at the front desk or they'll just tell you, oh, just put it on the table over there. And especially with the residential orders, usually they just want you to go ahead and hand it to them at the door. And that's it. I know some folks have said that they don't want to do catering just simply because if they have to go into a really populated area, say they have to go to a downtown area, right? And it's hard to find parking. Imagine if you got to waste so much time trying to find parking just to take a risk getting told or getting a ticket to go up and do a food setup. They may not feel like that's worth taking the risk. They would rather just do basic food delivery in and out, in and out, in and out. So... Like I said, everybody has their preferences. There is no right or wrong way to go about doing any of these apps, but I just wanted to point that out as far as food versus catering. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I know there are definitely a lot more things that we can compare as far as the differences between on-demand and pre-scheduling apps. You know, there's a lot of differences between the two, but I just kind of wanted to highlight the main points that I think a lot of people might consider a more important factor when deciding you know whether or not this app is better for them versus this one so yeah but keep in mind there isn't like a perfect app you know as much praise as i give catering you know i run into my issues you know i literally had what i think two deliveries ago i ran into this issue with parking and locating where i needed to go you know it was a whole mess but you know you're gonna have your good days and you're gonna have your bad days you know there's no perfect app 
stuff out there. But the only thing you can really do is use the information that, you know, people like myself provide and, you know, go out there and make a decision as far as what works best for you. Sometimes you may not know it until you actually get out there and do it. <laughs> you know, me talking about it is one thing, but actually doing it, you know, you might have a completely different experience. But yeah, guys, like I said, that's pretty much it. I need to go ahead and head in because it looks like it's about to start storming. So let me go ahead and head up in this house now. But I would definitely love to know what you guys think. Do you have a particular preference? Do you prefer to do on demand? Do you prefer to do pre-scheduled? Let me know in the comments. Now, before I go, I have to remind you guys to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. But I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. And as always, stay safe out there and keep grinding.